God bless my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And my name is Linda. So I seen today that I've reached over a thousand subscribers and I'm so thankful and so humble with everything that God is doing um, through me on this platform and I don't take it for granted and I take it very serious when I come here and post a word or a prophetic dream or revelation that God has given me. And so in this video, I do want to talk about why I haven't posted in about three months. I'm going to be very transparent with you and why I haven't posted. And on this video, I won't go into details on certain things because I'm going to do a separate video talking about these, <laughs> uh, the things that has been happening. But the reason why I haven't posted in, in three months and I just been away is because the enemy has come with a plan to confuse me and distract me and just take me away from the will of God or the tr or where God wanted to guide me in in, in sense of my my channel and my platform on kingdom marriages and waiting on the Lord. I almost married a counterfeit. And I can, I would say, don't want to call him the counterfeit. I want to call him an imposter because he came, not him specifically, but the enemy. He came with an assignment to destroy everything that God has given me, including my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is not the only thing that I do for the Lord. I have a woman's uh, fellowship called Women of Value. I have, I just started a podcast this year called Coffee Break with God. I had had a prayer group, which that's, I haven't been doing it. And I also have a ministry where I feed the homeless. So when I haven't posted because I had several dreams and I was confused and I don't come on here to share Oh my God, guys, guess what? I just had a dream that um, he's no longer my husband, the original person that I have been speaking about in my um, uh, videos. And so I had a dream. And so the dream was kind of like, hey, it's time for you to move on and it's um, time to let go. And that's when the counterfeit came and it came really good. I, I'm, I'm when I say that I was bamboozled. I was bamboozled. I was so deceived. And right now I can talk about it because I have been receiving strength from God. I have been receiving healing from God. And the only way, the only reason why I'm up today or standing or walking, it is because the mercy of God. It is because of God that I, I cannot explain it. I, I In those three months, I was confused. I was going through a lot of pain. I was, I mean, my heart was just being broken um, through this person, through the counterfeit. And I just didn't know how to discern the what I was seeing, I was seeing these attacks, right? But I was seeing it more as an attack of the enemy and not signs from God because the person who is the counterfeit was a, a leader, was a, a minister. He was an evangelist, a well-known evangelist. So I remember him telling me, we're going to get attacked, watch. So everything that I was seeing I did. I just wasn't able to discern the voice of God. It was very hard to determine the voice of God. It, I'm not going to lie. It was, I. It was hard. And as I was going through this in these three months, it was, hasn't been difficult. I haven't been praying. I. It, it turned out um, from we were gonna go get married, and I thank God that He didn't allow that. Um, to happen, and I will go into details that into another video, but it led to sin. And if I'm not living right with God, I am not going to come on YouTube or um, use, um, you know, especially when you're a leader to minister. You know, I'm not that I'm 
very careful when it comes to God and I have fear of God. That, and when it comes to God, I don't play, you know, that if I'm living in sin or if I fell into a sin, I'm not going to minister. I'm not going to post anything because I know that I'm not right. And it wasn't that I did it with intentions. It was good intentions. It was an innocent plan, but I felt like the decision that I made, it was rushed. You know, I felt like, oh, this is going to be, God's going to do it so speedily. It's going to be fast. So I'm thinking that what I was doing was correct. You know, I made a decision, which a rushed decision, which I should have not made. And it led to destruction. It led to me saying, I'm going backwards. I am not going. I, I thought about my YouTube channel. I'm like, I just felt like it was destroyed. I felt like everything was just being destroyed. My ministries, everything that God has given me. When I say it was an attack, a big attack of the enemy purposely to destroy, to disfocus me um, from the things that God has given me, uh, uh, including this YouTube channel, to, to destroy my, my purpose, you know, and it was so heartbreaking. I was just going through a lot of pain and I would tell God, like, what about my channel? What about the dreams that you've given me? I know there were you. I, I, I know those dreams came from you. Yeah, there are some dreams that I don't know. I want to wait for, you know, confirmation. That's why um, this time around, I said to myself that I'm going to be very careful what I post on my channel. I'm going to be very careful um, being led by the Holy Spirit and being filled with discernment and the fruits of the Holy Spirit on um, what I post on my YouTube channel. Not because I see um, popular prophetic words. No, it's because this is what God has said to me. And I'm not going to post anything unless I get confirmation from God. And that's why I haven't posted no videos, no dreams, because I didn't want to come on here to confuse you. I didn't want to come here. And because of me, because of me, I gave you a word and then you ran with it. You know, I didn't want to be the cause of that. I don't want blood, blood on my hands. And that's why we, we need to be careful, um, women and men of God, on these prophetic words that we hear on YouTube channel. We must be careful, even prophetic words that we receive um, through ministers that it, sometimes it's not coming from God. And they can be, a, a, it could be a pastor, it could be anybody that, you know, is a sheep, but technically is a wolf. And so remember, the enemy does come to bring confusion. And so we must be careful on what we're seeing, what we're watching, what we're listening to. And if I, me, Linda, had that more deeper relationship with God and, and more intimacy, imagine other people that don't really have that intimate relationship with God and don't seek him every day. And they can be easily deceived and fooled. The enemy wanted to mock me. He wanted to shame me. He wanted to bring me down. But I, one day I told God, because I, I said, God, I can't do this anymore. I, this, I don't know if I can get up from this, the shame, the guilt of even like being engaged. Um, I really, the only thing I posted was me with the ring. I posted it on here on the wall on uh, my community posts. I posted the ring that I got engaged and I posted it on my uh, uh, Facebook, but I never posted pictures of the person. Thank God. <laughs> But um, it was just a lot, a lot that I was going through. And I said, this is it. I'm not going to be able to get back up from this. This is it. The shame, the guilt, the what people are going to say. What are people going to think? You know, because I was like, God said, this is from God. And I was so, this is God. This is God. And it wasn't God. It wasn't God. It was Satan. And I was fooled. You know, I was deceived. And I kept saying, oh, I think this is from God. You know, this is, uh, and, and the crazy thing is, which I would tell more in a, um, I think I'm going to post it today. I'm going to have to prepare my notes and just prepare on what I really want to talk about and allow the Holy Spirit to lead me um, as I pray and ask the Holy Spirit to guide me in the video that I'm going to post on how I almost marry the counterfeit slash imposter. But, um, I told God, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get it up 
get up from this. I, I can't. I couldn't even go back to my church. I was I was under heavy, heavy attack. And I want to thank those who reached out to me and say, hey, I'm praying for you. I want to thank um, those who um, who just reach out and say, hey, I thought of you. How are you? I haven't, haven't seen you post. I want to say thank you because not knowing you were u- being used by God to kind of remind me to stay encouraged and not give up. And so I told God one day that I'm not giving up. You know, I'm not going to allow the enemy to destroy what you have given me. I refuse to allow the enemy um, to destroy everything that God has given me. And I'm going to get back up. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to allow this to knock me down. I told God, if you're going to use this pain, use it for your glory. I'm not going to allow this pain to go to waste. I'm not going to allow this heart, you know, this ache in my heart, this pain go to waste. I will use it for your glory. And I will speak and I will say whatever you need me to say to warn um, women to be careful, especially women to be careful. There are men in the church that are narcissists, that, which I will post that in a separate video of narcissists that want to take advantage of women that want to, when they see a woman, a good woman, and this man has really nothing much to offer you. There are men that take advantage of good women in church. And, um, that was happening to me and being taken advantage of, but I, I thank God that he guarded my heart in the whole process. And just be careful, ladies, just because the, the guy or the or even to men, be careful just because they go to church, they may have a position, they may preach, um, they may have a big ministry, doesn't mean that they are good for you. They can also be a wolf in sheep clothing. So we we have to be so careful, my um woman and man of God. We have to be so careful. We have to be spirit led if it happened to me it can possibly happen to you too and so and I don't want that to happen to you I don't want what I just went through that you go through that because not everyone has the same strength not everybody has the same mindset or mentality like me and like I said the only reason why I'm here today is because the the mercy of God the grace of God and I feel strong you know I feel strong um, from this whole situation, I feel like if I didn't was going through the process of what I was going through and the things I've spoke in my previous videos, I feel like this situation would have really destroyed me. I feel like this situation, I wouldn't be able to get back up from this. I, I wouldn't be able to know even how to get back up from this. So I felt like a lot of times we go through process to make us stronger for the next process. Right. And so I thank God for Whatever, whatever weapon was formed against me did not prosper. And that was uh, actually a scripture that kept the Holy Spirit kept ministering to me in this process. The weapon may be formed, but it may not prosper. The weapon, it was formed. I was going through that, 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 that weapon that the enemy has formed and created. They attacked the, the storm. I was in it. I was in it, living it day by day. But the Holy Spirit is saying it will not prosper. It will be destroyed. And so, yes, so I'm going to post um, hopefully today. So please watch out um, for that um, video, how I almost marry um, the counterfeit and how I, the just my, just my story. Okay. I'm going to share my story. I don't want you to be like, oh God, you know, no, I'm going to share my story. So please don't take it as, um, uh, maybe you're going through it and th- this is going to help you what I'm going to share, but I don't want you to be confused. I don't want you to be, oh, well, what, what about the, no, this is not to cause confusion. This is just to share light and, and to share light in areas that the enemy do attacks to kind of just know the upper hand, the strategies of the enemy against kingdom marriages so we can be careful. So um, thank you so much for the love and support. And I do want to apologize for, I did, I remember when I was, I did reach a couple people and I told them, oh my God, guys, this is from God. This is God. And I want to say sorry. I want to say sorry um, for, you know, I should have not even said anything, you know, but I want to apologize. And and I am a type of person that I I take accountability, kind of, 
I take um, accountability for my actions. And when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I was wrong. I was incorrect. I was believing something that was coming from God when it wasn't coming from God. And I want to apologize for those that I have um, have let down, for those I have called and told them the good news. And, you know, it really truly wasn't. And I didn't want, I maybe got, the enemy used me to bring some confusion. And I, so sorry. So um, I'm going to soon be posting that video. I just have to prepare a little bit and just kind of pray and just speak my truth and speak um, what I went through. And so, yeah, thank you guys for the love and support. Thank you for the new subscribers. Welcome to my channel and stay tuned for my um, next video. God bless and you have a great day. To check out my online Christian boutique. Um, it's my small little business and I would appreciate uh, for my for the support I have hoodies uh, sweatshirts t-shirts I have my prayer journals up there uh, phone case and much more so I, I, I thank you in advance for the support in my small business in my Christian online boutique have a good day